Kinger's Garage, Kinger here. Wanted to walk through some of the Dodge 8HP70 control. Follow the instructions on the Max uh, website to enable it here in your CAN settings. And then this uh, will pop up for you, the um, icon up here, or the menu option. And then you have a control and settings. Super easy here, select your shifter, and then um, for the mode that it's in, set from to analog input user table. Uh, and then this will allow you to change your drive modes. I'm going to do that from the M dash. Um, this stuff is very self-explanatory, and I like to move this to automatic, the trans break. In the control, you got your control shift targets here. One thing I like to do, um, this usually comes with four. I added these columns, which you just do with, with one of these. But since there's only eight here, it knows to, it doesn't like that, so you can remove that. Boom. One thing I want to do is I want to go down here, and I want to add a 4D axis. And then you come up here and you hit change access source and you want to do use um, dry, 8HP drive mode okay and you're gonna get this it's one I think in here what you can do is you're going to um, the drive modes in the 8HP uh, transmission they're coded I think a one three uh, I believe five, ten, if I remember right. So this is like normal mode, like, like normal, street, track, drag. And so what you, what happens here is when you're in normal mode, this is you can have this table set up to shift, but say you put it in street um, or, or sport, you want to call it that, then what you could do is you could change these and I don't want, when, I'm, when I have these lower th uh, positions here, uh, let's say I wanted this to move, I want to move this up to like 3,000. RPM, you know, something something like that. And well, uh, the other thing to remember then is that means that even at light throttle, this is just going to hang in that gear until it sees 3000, then it'll downshift to the next gear. Um, and so uh, the other important thing to remember here is these all have to increment. There is a help on this table. Do not modify these rows, but you can add the columns, and then each um, row has to ascend. So what I've got here is wrong. I'd have to change this one to like 3,100. Um, I'd have to change this one to like 3,200, 3,300, let's just say. And I, now they all increment up. So you have to just modify that. But with, So now when you're in normal mode, you're gonna get nice, easy, smooth shifting. My, in my case, uh, the V8 um, is barely you know, working at 2,500. Put it in sport, it's gonna rub up to 3,000 before it makes a shift. Anything up to half throttle, you know what I mean? Um, could have something set up for track mode which is you know you could you just uh, everything gets pushed you know higher and so you could maybe have like 7500 7400 um you know even at 80 percent throttle mode you know you could you you want this to just hold on to that gear when you're going into a corner you let off the gas and you just you just hold on to that gear um and before you you want it to shift so um, so this would be akin to coming in, it's going you know, you're wide open, you come into a corner, you're at 7,500, you you slow down and brake and the engine comes down, you're off the gas, um, and, um, the engine comes down to 6,800, you're only at 70% throttle, you know, maybe you're modulating. And then as soon as you come back out, it's it, the whole time it just has held this gear, you know, you'll just hold that. You should probably give me the fourth gear on most tracks. It's just going to hold that gear. And I think that's a really cool feature that you can, you can uh, adjust that with these drive modes through the 4D axis. Last but not least, up here, this is the more most important table in terms of shift firmness. Um, if you know, uh, I have an engine dyno on my engine, so I'm going to just plug in my actual torque um, numbers off of that dyno chart. Uh, you know, most dynos start at 3,000 and go up, so I'm just going to kind of extrapolate and and kind of guess on some of these lower ones. But essentially, if it's shifting too firm. These numbers are too high. The higher you, you put here, the higher the line pressure inside the valve body. So it's just important to note, you can make it nice and slushy, especially in one of these modes um, with low throttle position. But you get up high, you want to jack these up a little bit um, and make sure that those clutches are not slipping under, under load. They will take a beating, but you have to have the pressure set in this table, right? So go slow, learn it, um, and enjoy. And that's it today, quick and easy. I uh, hope you guys have fun with this. I'll follow this up when I get the car um, tuning better and running better. And we'll play with these numbers and I'll, we'll do a live simulation in the car. hope this helps.
Take care.